Hi there guys and welcome to the short video having a look at the Portfolio Mixer in more detail. Portfolio Mixer is quite a useful tool uh, that gives you an idea of how an aggregate uh, basket of stocks will perform price wise. Probably easiest to just go ahead and show it to you. So I've got this extra box right here that says uh, please drag and drop a product to get started. I'm going to take coffee, drag and drop it into here and I'm just going to pop out the next part of my chart. And what you'll see right here is this is, a, this is the price performance of coffee. If I then go ahead and take gold and drag and drop gold into here it will add that aggregate performance and if we go ahead and say select something like West Texas crude add it in like so and we finish up by adding copper into here we'll have four products within my mix so from here I've got the ability to look at wider time frames so I'm just gonna go ahead and select max and what that does is give an idea of how, the, how that basket of products would have traded if it held them over the last eight months. And I've also got this um, calendar function right here to select specific dates. Um, I can see here it's gone up 12.56% and it's got a volatility metric of about 20. And if I select line chart on here, I can see all the performance metrics on here very clearly. I can see there that coffee's been the big performer right there. Uh, and I can see well, most of them will be okay, but crude oil's not been that great. And if I select bar, well, that just allows you to very easily see exactly what's gone on. I can see that, that um, kind of copper and crude oil have been bad, gold's been okay, but it's been coffee that's been an absolutely stellar performer. So if I go back to here again, you notice here that on the right hand side, I've got slight energy bars on here. And I've also got uh, a buy button. I can actually switch these round to be buy or sell. Uh, and you can see the impact that by changing this round can actually have, uh, something like coffee would have a huge impact on the overall performance of my basket. So you can also go ahead and change the weightings of things as well. Uh, and as you can see, their performance there changes accordingly. For example, I know that coffee's uh, done particularly well. If I increase that percentage at the expense of the other products, it will increase the overall aggregate performance of the mix. If I bring that back the opposite direction, obviously that will have the, the opposite negative effect and uh, so on and so forth. So what it allows you to do is to try and identify a series of products um, that are either trending really well in one direction or trending really badly in the other. And uh, it's very, very possible for you to continue to add other products onto here as you feel is appropriate. For example, I can put rough rice in there, I can go ahead and put uh, soybean in there and a whole bunch of other products as well just to see how all that's performing. So if I just close that down for a second and go to my uh, trading tools area, I can actually open up another mix that I'd already created. For example, I quite like the mix of some of my favorite mining stocks. And as you can see there, you can see a wide uh, variety of performance. This is UK mining stocks, but I could be looking at Australian or uh, Canadian or US, for example. As you see, I've already got these already saved on here, and I've got a wide selection of different buys and sells and different amounts of, uh, of exposure on there. And as I begin to move these in and move out, it can have quite a decent impact on the overall health of your position. This is, can give you a bit of an idea about uh, what products are overperforming and underperforming in any particular area. So I can see that Longman has performed incredibly well over the last couple of months, or I can see uh, some of the other products have uh, not been quite so good, for example, Vedanta in this case. And that gives you a bit of an idea about how to best utilize the portfolio mixer. It can be utilized across multiple asset types, and uh, this can give you a real good flavor of how products compare against each other.